Woodman's Corner. My name is David. Today we're going to be talking about this. What is in this jar? This is Captain Black regular pipe tobacco. So this is from another one of my most recent orders from Pipes and Cigars. We're going to be just taking a quick look at it and uh, giving you some stats on it. So <clears throat> take off my glasses for a second. So Captain Black Regular is a Virginia Burley and Black Cavendish blend. You can get it currently on Pipes and Cigars for three ten an ounce in bulk, 16 ounce bags for $49.50, 12 ounce cans for $43.75, and one and a half ounce pouches for $5.38. Um, as of the recording of this video, the bulk and 16 ounce bags are currently back ordered. Um, just so you know that that option is currently unavailable. So you can also get this at Smoking Pipes in a 12 ounce can for $44 or a one and a half ounce pouch for $6.49 or on four noggins in bulk for $2.99 an ounce and 12 ounce cans for $42.60. So <clears throat> the actual pouches of Captain Black don't really have a description about what the tobacco is other than that it's a blend of these three different tobaccos but it doesn't tell you anything about the flavor. So, real quickly, let me go ahead and just open this up and get a smell from it. Mm. So right off the bat, I can tell you this is gonna be sweet, um, which is just fine with me. I'm perfectly okay with sweet stuff. I know some of the reviewers are pure English or pure Oriental or pure Balkan, um, and that's fine. Everybody has a different palate. So I'm smelling little bit of um, like a vanilla type sweetness it's like a smoky sweetness um, but there's also I don't know but there's something else in here and I can't really place it I can't tell if it's like a cherry chocolate or um, like a cordial um, which would make sense uh, a lot of reviews that I've read about this tobacco say that it has kind of a liquor uh, topping or flavoring that's been added to it um, which is normal for tobaccos of this kind, the Captain Blacks, the um, Sir Walter Raleigh, uh, Carter Hall, those kinds of tobaccos. So uh, let's go ahead and uh, before we get to smoking it, let's take a look at the cut. Okay, so this is our tobacco. This is the Captain Black regular. Go ahead and take it out. And of course, I don't have the pouch for this because I bought this as a bulk item from Pipes and Cigars. So go ahead and dump some of this out so you can take a look at it. So you can see there's some really nice kind of different colors going on in there. It looks very nice. Um, this is a little bit on the dry side, but it's not completely unsmokable. Um, it's got a very nice aroma to it, which I really enjoy. But overall, I mean, it, it is a coarse cut. It's a loose cut is uh, what it's classified as. Um, and I completely agree with that. So <clears throat> um, just keep in mind when you're buying from these online vendors, when it comes to moisture content, your mileage may vary. Uh, just depending on how they have been storing the tobacco and how long it took them to ship it to you and how long it was in transit. Uh, I probably will be putting a disc humidifier into this jar uh, at some point to kind of perk up uh, what little is left in here of my order uh, as I continue to smoke this. So well, let's go ahead and get back to the uh, smoking portion. Alrighty, well, let's go ahead and get this lit up. And uh, I apologize if I'm keeping my voice down a little bit. Um, it's a little early in the morning here and I don't want to wake anybody else in my complex up here at my apartment. Uh, you may also hear some noise in the background. Um, today is kind of the first day of spring and so people have decided that they need to be out tending the lawns and the plants and doing the gardening. So. Um, I've already got my pipe packed and I'm smoking this in a Missouri Meerschaum Ozark uh, hardwood. Um, I felt like that was appropriate given that this is kind of an OTC drugstore brand uh, to smoke it out of kind of a, a cheaper pipe. Let's go ahead and get this lit up. Alright. 
<clears throat> Got that charring light down. Tamp, 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 tamp. I love tamping. It's my favorite part of uh, pipe smoking. <laughs> Other than smoking the pipe, obviously. <clears throat> All right, well, let's go for the uh, let's go for the full light. Yeah. Whoa, table, stay. <laughs> Cheap tables, you know. Alrighty, I'm gonna put my sunglasses back on here. It's a little bit bright outside, we've got an almost cloudless day, and uh, for those of you who have blue eyes like me, you know our eyes can be a little bit light sensitive. So this is like my fourth or fifth bowl of this in the last couple of days, and uh, I've taken some notes on it, and I'll read those to you. Um, so here are my notes, mild and pleasant with a sweet note, a nice room note, which is absolutely true. Um, I, I don't think anyone would really object to me smoking this. And my, my first impressions were there was something in the topping other than the vanilla that I couldn't place. And after reading some of the reviews online, I do think it probably is a liquor type topping, like a cordial or a um, like a sherry or something, you know, something on the sweeter side of liquor. Um, and I didn't pick that up the first time because I try not to review or read reviews before I smoke my first bowl of a tobacco. I go into it completely blind um, so that I'm not biased in any way. And then once I've had the first bowl or the first you know, two or three bowls, I will then go and seek out other people's reviews of this tobacco to see if I'm getting the same kinds of things that they are. And a lot of that is differences in palates. Um, my palate is not going to taste the same things that somebody else's palate is. So I find it useful to make sure that I'm not thinking that I'm tasting something that somebody else said. So overall, this tobacco is great. Um, when it came out of the can, it was a little bit dry. Or not the can, but the uh, pouch I ordered this bulk from Pipes and Cigars. Um, it was a little bit dry, but Overall, I've gotten it back to where I want it. Um, as you can see, it's putting out a really nice amount of smoke, um, which is great. It's got a very nice kind of creamy, mild flavor, which I'm really enjoying. It does have kind of that vanilla type sweetness, um, but there is definitely a liquor element here. Um, I would put this along the same lines as Sir Walter Raleigh's aromatic uh, in, in terms of the kind of sweetness that I'm talking about. Hmm. <clears throat> I'm, I'm very impressed. The three or four bowls that I've had of this, I've only had to light it once. Um, and then once more right towards the end of a bowl. Um, now part of that is I tend to be, even though, as you can see, I'm not a clencher, I can sometimes be kind of a wet smoker. Uh, and that's because I'm constantly puffing on this. So, um, I've never had a problem with this tobacco gurgling, but uh, like the way I have with other tobaccos that I've uh, smoked in the past. So to where I haven't had to put a pipe cleaner down this, but I am left usually with a little bit of dabble in the bottom of the bowl um, that is just too wet to smoke. And, and, and I'm okay with that, you know. Um, as I said in my last video, you know, I don't like smoking for great lengths of time. Um, yeah, I enjoy good long smoke. But <clears throat> I don't seek out, you know, long burning smoking tobaccos. Um, 
but overall, yeah, I'm very happy with this. Um, and I think if you are kind of in the the in the club of I like something sweet, but something that's not going to break the bank. I think Captain Black Regular is probably something you should um, look into. It's been, according to them, one of America's top tobaccos for the last 50-something years, um, which I don't know if that's because it's a drugstore brand and so everyone had access to it, or if it really is just that good. Um, but I, I'm enjoying it. Uh, I could see this being kind of an everyday tobacco where I could smoke this probably all day and not really get burnt out because of how mild it is. Um, I don't really notice a great amount of nicotine in this tobacco. I would put this in the mild, maybe tinging on medium, but really there's not a lot to it. So. But um, other than that, <clears throat> let us know your thoughts. If you've ever smoked Captain Black regular, we'd love to hear your thoughts about it. Again, my palate is going to be different than your palate, and I'd love to hear what you're tasting versus what I'm tasting. Um, let us know if you smoke Captain Black, where do you buy it from, and if you're willing to share how much you pay. And uh, other than that, we hope you've enjoyed this pipe tobacco review. Have a great day.